Hi, Code Weaver here, back again for a little bit of weekend gaming. So, uh, tried to start this stream a couple of seconds ago, ran into some audio issues, but I think I'm more or less sorted out now. Um, I'm going to be, you know, I'll have to adjust my audio on my headphones a little bit, but other than that, I should be ready to go. All right, so. Uh, I've been playing quite a few games on the stream lately. Uh, I'm going to do some Phasmophobia today, um, or right now anyway, but I do it more than once today. i um, been playing a lot of other uh, games, some of them on stream, some of them off. I've uh, been playing Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, a nice little set of case files uh, for a mystery. I've um, been playing a little Baldur's Gate 3 behind the scenes, which is pretty good. Um, needs uh, needs some uh, spit and polish in a few places, uh, but I think it's going to shape up... Uh, a year from now when they finally get out of early release it's going to be uh or, or whenever it is um is going to be a, a reasonably solid title um yeah uh played a lot of don't starve together behind the scenes um trying to look for good co-op games and this is no exception i quite like this game so without further ado let's switch over to the game already in progress um I just want to make sure, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but, uh, so I'm going to use that hiss as an audio check. That's all right, my, my audio levels are about the same on the stream as they are in my headphones, so I know what's going on, roughly speaking. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's have a little fun. So. Uh, we've got an amateur house here. I thought I'd do something simple, maybe do something a little more complicated later. Um, without further ado, I'm going ghost hunting. Oh, except I need a, a, a flashlight. You know what? I've been playing this game uh, with a couple of friends of mine, uh, a couple of different groups of friends of mine, actually. Um, and I seem to be forgetting my flashlight a lot. And I get partway into the house before I realize it. I guess I've become familiar enough with the environs, um that uh, it doesn't even make me think twice when I'm wandering around the place without a flashlight. So, let's uh, start poking around. And I try to get practiced at making fairly quick sweeps with the broad sensors, or at least one broad sensor, and then get salt and, uh, uh, and crucifixes down to protect myself to track the ghost. I have died a lot in this game recently. Fortunately, in situations where I haven't lost all my equipment because um, uh, other people have brought in the equipment, but it's still not a good thing. And uh, I'm starting to wonder. Oh, good heavens! A little bit sleepy today. I'm starting to wonder if I'm losing my ability. Come on, really? There we go. I'm doing that to see if the ghost ends up polluting the water, which is occasionally the thing that happens. I wonder if I'm losing my ghost hunter credentials here. And I'm not properly watching my thermometer, so let's be a little more careful here. Uh, my power supply is here, which means it's not in the basement. And the ghost tends to not haunt the basement, so I won't actually bother going down there. And in fact, I rarely see the bone down there either. It's, um, Amongst the things that eventually need to be expanded by the very small team that's working on this game, like you guys are rock stars to put together this something as amazing on a fairly small team. Uh, ha you know, hands down, awesome job. Um, uh, one of the things, though, that I could definitely see, did I not turn this on? One of the things I could definitely see, though, is making it more varied exactly where the ghost uh, shows up in the given dwelling, as well as, of course, adding more dwellings. But. Um, I keep coming back to the game. I don't care whether the, the houses are, are repetitive all that much. More is good, but solid is better for as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, taking a quick look around. I like having the lights on, if for no other reason than to rem um, well, keep my sanity from going down and to partially remind me of where I've been, although the open doors help a little bit with that too. Now, you rat bastards, you have turned the lights out on me down in the basement, so let's go and just flick those back on. So I need to preserve my sanity for as long as possible. I think I did remember to put pills in the, 
Are the lights on? Yeah, okay. So the ghost has shut down power and actually turned out all the individual lights. Slightly odd mechanic, but I cope. Um, let's turn a few lights anyway, just to remind myself that everything's on. That's just outside, so that doesn't matter so much. Interesting, this light was still on, so turn down all the downstairs lights, but didn't turn off that one. That's slightly curious. Now, something I've been given to notice is in one of the maps, uh, the ghost bone, the, the remnants of one of the ghosts or whatever, uh, or its favorite bone or whatever, I don't know if it really matters, um, ended up getting placed in such a position that it was almost entirely covered up by a towel, so... Whether intentional or not, it was an extremely cheeky place to end up finding a bone. Uh, and I wouldn't have spotted it, except I happened to be glancing in the direction. It was completely by accident, which tells me... Which tells me, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be a little bit careful. Oh, hello. Where do you look for stuff? Okay, so some cold in here. Extending into the bathroom. Um, trying to get a feel. I had just learned something kind of new about the temperature sensor. I thought it was proximity based, uh, like just a general um, in the air sensor. But of course, when you see temperature sensors like this in real life, you aim it at stuff like, like a gun and it takes the temperature of the thing that's in front of it. I don't know why it didn't occur to me before, but check, check this out. So if I'm out here where the ghost clearly isn't and point in, I get a cold spot. If I'm inside where that cold spot is and point out, it gets kind of warmer. I'm going to have to remember this for future games because this could help me map out like sort of exactly where the cold is. And it's clearly... It's in here. But the only thing that tells me that this, this is the ghost's sort of favorite room, perhaps. It does not, on the other hand, tell me um, where the ghost is wandering. And the ghosts tend to wander quite a bit, and that may stymie the results as well. Okay, I am a bit of an idiot. So, I, I mean, I know how those devices work in real life. I've used those devices in real life, and it just didn't even occur to me, okay, so it actually is how you point. I wonder if the EMF sensor works the same way. I thought it was more, mm, that's intriguing. Hey, you know what? Um, any improvement to my understanding of how the how the, the game behaves and how realistic it is on, the, on its, really? Really, thanks for nothing. Uh, on how the device works, may help me live better. Don't like the fact that it's spooking at me right now. Seeing as I don't know how far the ghost is ranging. I don't have that, do I? No. Okay, so the ghost bone is in here. I need to get myself killed. Oh well. See, there's cold spots all the way down here as well. But not in here. Not as much anyway. I 
and not so much in here. Definitely coldest in here. Okay. Interesting. All right. So I have to I have to keep that in mind. That's I I have to say I I don't know after like weeks of playing this game I don't know why I didn't clue into that. Um, in fact I think uh, I think the reason why I even thought to check this time was because a friend mentioned it last night and I corrected her in playing this the wrong way. So hey I have to eat crow. I I do not know how these devices work. Um, I thought it was more of uh, sort of a, a, just a general environmental sensor and that's clearly nonsense. Um, okay. Okay. Um, now I keep getting eaten by these things, so the very first thing I'm going to do is throw down a couple of uh, crucifixes. Just race in, drop down the crucifixes, race back out. No drama, just get it done. Uh, it's fairly hot in here, so I'm going to place the crucifix there. But it's also doing something funny sort of out here in the hall. So I'm going to do that. <coughs> now the crucifixes are only preventative. Um, they have to be down before the haunt occurs, and they only prevent the ghost haunting really oh let's just go and fix that again uh, they only prevent the ghost from haunting if the ghost sort of manifests like comes to life comes into the world or whatever where the crucifix has influence and I, that I looked up I'm pretty confident that's the way it works so you know a little bit of hubris here. Um, I need to know where the ghost is walking. So, pretty sure it's leaving the room, but I'll double check anyway. I want to make sure that the ghost is getting to that end of the hall. Um, let's see if it's going into that room. Interesting to know if it's going into that room. I also do I have one more pile of salt. I also want to know if it's coming down the stairs. So, because that could be useful to know. I don't think I have any more uses. So, okay. In fact, you know, just just for due diligence, and I know this is a silly thing to do on stream, but. Well, I'm not even going to do it on stream. I'm doing it in the background where you can't actually see me. I'm going to make a comment about the working of that device. Uh, Discord is apparently deciding to update. I was going to send a message uh, to the group channel I'm in about the workings of that device so that everyone can laugh at me about how I don't know how, to, how any of this stuff works. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's get that actually attached to here. I sprung for a tripod after I lost my last one. All right, let's go get this set up. With all that stuff up there, it is now time to set up all the equipment. Really? You're starting to get on my nerves. Actually, what I can do, um, I still kind of wish the candles lasted longer because then I would deploy them. Um, I'd spend time deploying them. Uh, uh, they, they're just a little too short. Like, give me five minutes on them. Right now it seems like it's like two minutes or something stupid short. Like, it just they just need to be a little longer, in my opinion, to just sort of make them useful because then why use them? Oh, but hello. Okay, so not heading down the stairs. Okay, how am I going to do this? Didn't know I could actually get up here. Okay, so we are going to kind of try to capture... No, it needs to be 
placing of this is a little weird. Okay, camera is on. I'm take another quick scan up the hall. Didn't make it this far. So mostly this hall. Okay, okay. Uh, in which case I'm gonna put this closer to the door. Okay. Uh, I need a camera. I want to take a photograph of that and the salt, actually. Oh, hello. Only getting level four though. All right, that's interesting. Need level five to create a confirmed sighting. Don't really have confirmed sightings on anything. Ah, but Ghosty's getting a little bit jumpy. Not really seeing any ghost orbs on the cam. We have a lot of bright light going on there though. Alright, we're going to take that in. We're going to take the camera in because I want to capture photos of things that are going on in there. There we go. Okay. All the lights, really? Is that what we're gonna do? You know what, let's just leave this there while I boot it downstairs and go flick the lights. Need to preserve my sanity. This is painfully slow. I know, I'm sure a lot of you can ghost hunt a lot more quickly than I can. Photographs of that. Go down the hall. Yeah, no salt disturbances here, even though it did get kind of cooler there. So we're going to take a photograph of that and grab the bone. So now we have evidence on a few fronts. I'm inclined to believe I should place this a little bit further out here. That should cover a little bit more of the affected area. Actually, maybe even a little further in here. Still not super strong, though. No ghost writing. Yeah, sort of right here. Right, okay. Um, so I scared myself with my own shadow. All right. See if I can do this without. There we go. It needs to be better place mechanics. Sometimes I just want to place something down, but 
want to do it in a proper orientation, like with the flashlight or whatever. It's like, really? I can just... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go place a couple of these down there so I have lights even when things go a little wonky. Um, they're cheap, and they do sort of help a little when things start to get flickery. Uh, I have one there. I have another one sort of on the staircase here. If it doesn't roll down into infinity, let's... Yeah, that does, a little, that does some nice lighting up of the room. Right. Now I'll grant you, I am doing this a lot more sort of slowly and hardcore than I should for an amateur level ghost. But like I said, I have gotten eaten recently way more times than I feel I should. Um, given how much, given that I've played this game a bit. So this is sort of practice for me being diligent, I suppose. So that will hopefully track nearby ghosts and light up like a beacon um, whenever there's a ghost sort of in the in, in an area that's covered by this, which should be the area that I think is affected. Let's see if we can get a voice. How old are you? Can you hear me? Where are you? Where are you? What is your name? Oh, we'll leave that there. Um, so what I'm going to do is... place to put a light switch but we're gonna turn on a couple of lights in the halls or in the bedrooms except for that great all right well prime opportunity to go see if I have ghost orbs except there's no ghost activity activity. Well, huzzah! I have all the equipment up there that I could use, so at this point I have to piss it off to try to get some knowledge. So, I mean, we do have... so, we have fingerprints. We don't really have cold, and we don't really have EMF yet. Oh, hello. Ghost activity's up. Still not seeing ghost orbs, though. I'm willing to say not ghost orbs, but we have also haven't riled it up, and it may be the only thing that we can do to get its attention. So, uh, Richard Martinez. All right. This is where I die again. It doesn't like light, though. So going back through this, um, uh, a mare will have increase the chance to attack in the dark. Spirit box, ghost orb, and freezing temperatures. 
none of which we've seen, so probably not a mare. Turning off the location's power source will prevent the djinn from using its ability. The spare box goes to our EMF level 5, none of which we've tested. So... None of these things are particularly bothered by light. That's fine. Can you hear me? How old are you? What do you want? Probably not that then. Okay. Okay. Don't really have anything else I can bring to bear. All right, here goes nothing then. Uh, Richard Martinez. Richard Martinez, can you hear me? Richard Martinez, how old are you? It's interesting that it's interesting that it's affecting the radio back there. I don't know if that means that that's its primary haunting spot, but that's, that's new behavior. Richard Martinez. Richard Martinez, can you give us a sign? Richard Martinez, can you give us a sign? Richard Martinez, do you want to write in the book? Richard Martinez, are you here? Richard Martinez, are you here? Richard Martinez, how old are you? So that's proven to me something that I kind of suspected all along, which really isn't knowledge as such. Um, So something that's been proven to me for a while, uh, sort of, that's proof of something I've been thinking about for a while. 
is that getting a negative confirmation on an initial pass doesn't tell you much. Getting a positive confirmation might tell you a sort of a localized hotspot like what I did with the temperatures earlier, but um, I got no answer on that Vox until I ticked it off, so. I'm going to go and check the, um, for uh, ghost orbs again. And it, so negative confirmation doesn't tell you much because I got, I got negative confirmation on, on the spirit box until it's going to be really hard to tell because I think I got that light on in the far background. Um, until I started, I started getting it annoyed at me, and uh, then it started manifesting certain properties. Um, okay, let me try to reposition that camera. Getting dirty water there. Either of those two have bathrooms. That doesn't have a bathroom. This is a bathroom, but did I turn on the sink in here? Oh, I'm an idiot. Alright. Richard Martinez. So poltergeist activity. I'll take another snapshot anyway. Richard Martinez, are you here? Richard Martinez, do you need help? Richard Martinez, talk to me. Richard Martinez, give us a sign. Richard Martinez, are you here? Richard Martinez. Richard Martinez, talk to me. Richard Martinez, are you here? Richard Martinez, give us a sign. Richard Martinez, what do you want? Richard Martinez, what do you want? Richard Martinez, what do you want? Richard Martinez, give us a sign. Richard Martinez, give us a sign. Richard Martinez, are you here? Whew. Richard Martinez, give us a sign. 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 Richard Martinez, how old are you?
And I'm dead. Oh, that's just nasty. Alright. <laughs> well, they covered the cost of at least some of my equipment, so that's interesting. Alright, well, uh, that's been a nice 35 minute stream on Phasmophobia, so now I'm going to do something else for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> um, well, what should I do? Um, what am I in the mood for? You know what, maybe some Stranded Deep. I haven't done that in a little bit. I will be back in a little bit to do a little bit of Stranded Deep. See you on the shores. Code Weaver, out.